Hello, everybody. Hello, beautiful souls. I am Valeria Maritza. I am a quantum energy healer. Um, and this is how I've tried to. My, uh, my video just got um, deleted right away. Um, let me see if I can have a better position here. There we go. Okay, so I am Valeria, a quantum energy healer, and I am here to share with you how to align your energy with your business. So today, I did not do this on purpose, um, but today is February 2nd, 2022. And what's wonderful about this is that it is the beginning of this wonderful portal that begins today on February 2nd and it ends on February 22nd. So it is like a huge energy, uh, fantastic amounts of energy that are flowing through right now. So what we want to do is really align our energy, how we're feeling with our business. What do we want from our business, right? So if we're feeling like we want to be abundant, we want to have more clients, we want to bring more money inside of our business, but and our business is like already there, but we as a person are not aligned with it, meaning we are not feeling it, we're not uh, growing or expanding up to that level of expansion that we want, then there's a little bit of a disconnect between you, the person, and your business. I know it's your business and it's attached to you, but your business has its own energy. Did you know that? So you have your energy, your business has an energy, your business is ready to explode, it's ready to continue, it's ready to go wherever it needs to go that you want it to go, but you need to be aligned with what you are asking because with your, if you're feeling like I want to bring, let's say, a, a, hundred, a hundred new clients this month, but your energy is not aligned with that, if you have some type of blocks, if you're feeling like it's not going to actually uh, bring in um, the amount of, of time that it's going to take for you, then you're not aligned. And so what we want to do today is align your energy in the quantum field. And the quantum, quantum energy field, um, quantum energy is my uh, specialty. That's what I work on most of the time. And what it means is that shifts happen really fast, really, really quickly. So that's what the quantum uh, the quantum field is. So in order to align to that, I'm going to lead you through an exercise. I'm going to hold space for you, and we're going to visualize um, our business and what we want from it, and we're going to clear any blocks that might be holding us back or um, preventing us from moving forward in what we want, okay? All right, so if you're ready, and if you're catching this later on, uh, begin from, this, from the beginning so that you can actually do the entire exercise and clear these blocks in the quantum field, you, you will have the most potent um, results by doing it from the beginning, which is why I'm waiting a little bit as I see uh, some people that uh, need to still come and arrive to the live and, um, and be here. So, okay, here we go. So the first thing I want you to do is to, you can either close your eyes or you can keep them open, whichever one feels more comfortable for you. And we're going to take a deep breath in um, through our nose, and then you're going to exhale through your mouth. Okay, so you go like this. And then you exhale out. Now the second time you're going to do this, because we're going to keep on breathing a little bit, you're going to imagine that breath coming, you're going to lift the breath from the bottom of your feet, all the way up through your body till it reaches your head. And then when you exhale, you're going to exhale out through your mouth and you're going to imagine that breath leaving your body and all through your body down to the roots of your feet. Okay, so here we go. So this time, imagine the breath coming up through your legs. And exhale out. Ooh, are you feeling the tingling in your feet? That's your energy. That's your chi. That's your life force energy. Okay, and now one more time. We're going to do it one more time to really start to feel that energy moving in your body and connecting with your higher self. So let's go. And out. Very good. And now we're going to bring the energy back up and while you're here, I'm going to ask you to open up your crown chakra. 
So your crown chakra is up here. It's where you, the queen, you would put your crown, right? And the way that I open my crown, in case you haven't done this before, is I imagine a beautiful daisy flower that has all its petals in, and then it opens all of its petals outwards towards the sun. So if you imagine you have a flower here, if, if you open your crown chakra your own way, that's fine. But if you haven't done this before, this is the way that I visualize and that I teach because I'm a nature person. So you imagine this beautiful flower opening up all of its petals outwards, and like saying hello to the beautiful sun above, which is life source, your angels, uh, God, the energy, whatever it is that you work with. And now we're going to bring this divine energy coming in through your body. So you're going to allow divine energy to enter your crown chakra and begin to feel your face, your third eye, feel your head, go down to your neck. And begin to feel your entire body going moving down your arms to the fingertips and moving down your body filling up your heart space your solar plexus which is right below your chest your sacral right below your belly button and your root chakra which is the little tailbone or in between your hips um, right there in uh, the whole center of your body and moving down your legs all the way down till you reach the tip of your toes. And by now, you should really be feeling the tingling in the tip of your toes. This is the fourth time we've run some energy. Uh, this time with our crown chakra open. And why we're doing this, I'll explain. Um, everything is going to like really, really work out well and come together. Um, you are bringing all of your chakras, you're aligning them. So if you have a block in any of your chakras, by running the energy up and down like this, they are aligning. So like, imagine like if you have like, this is your spine column and you have like some, some uh, of your chakras like misalign a little bit, um, or like this way or that way, or they're blocked, running the energy back and forth through your center brings them back together it pulls them back in and you want that because you want to be completely aligned and completely open in all of your chakras in order for you to be able to receive and also communicate to your business or anything else that you're putting your intention to what it is that you want to receive okay so this is what we're doing this and we're entering the quantum field by opening our chakra and allowing that divine light to enter our body. So now we're going all the way to our toes. And if you're feeling a little tingling or a little dancing there at your toes, I love that feeling. That lets you know that, yes, it's there. You brought the energy down. Now we're going to bring that energy up. So imagine that beautiful and feel that beautiful light coming up through your legs, meeting you at your root. Entering and following up through your center and exiting through your crown chakra, connecting with divine light. And now you are actually connecting heaven and earth. So you are grounded, you're standing or you're sitting and your feet are on the ground and you're connected to the earth. And up here is divine light, the universe, God, and you are connecting heaven and earth. And that is what you want. So you imagine a beautiful pillar of light that is just shining down on your head and moving through your entire body all the way down. And now we're going to move it out again, up and then down and feel it feel that tingling moving and racing and notice that i'm going faster because now that we've done this a couple of times you can feel that energy move up and down Woof. i feel it on my toes and you bring it right back up and what this is doing and then back down um is aligning all of your chakras and i'm con i usually do this about three times um, but I'm going ahead because I am feeling someone's energy here who still needs, um, there's a blockage in one of your chakras. I believe it's your sacral. Um, and so we're moving the energy up and down so that you can open that up, align it, and be completely open to the receiving. So this is why we're continuing to do it. As I can feel your energy, woo, woo, yeah. And I'm feeling it in the back, like lower back area, which is like the, like the ovaries. So you're feeling all of that. Good. And now this last time, we're going to bring the energy up. And you're going to stay here. And I'm going to hold space for you as I hold the energy up here in this really high frequency of the quantum field. And all you need to do right now is 
relax and receive and here at this point we're going to now begin to align with our business so with your eyes closed it works better if you're not comfortable you can leave your eyes open that's fine I'm gonna keep my eyes closed I want you to imagine a blackboard or a whiteboard in front of you about two feet in front of you so here's the blackboard or whiteboard and then grab either a piece of chalk or a marker and draw a vertical line right down the center and on the left side I want you to write the name of your business so write the name I'm writing healing through you which is my business Okay, you got that? Now you're going to write the um, equal signs right on that line that you did. And right on that vertical line, you can make an, an equal sign. So your business equals. And now on the right side, I want you to write the first thing that comes to mind, the first word or phrase that comes to mind. It might be three words. Just write them down without thinking. Just write them down. All right, now you can put in the chat there uh, what it is that you uh, got. So on the, uh, write in the chat which words you received when you wrote on the right-hand side. So you have, and I'm going to check here on my phone, um, actually, to see if there are any comments. Hi, Peyton! Can you explain a little bit more about the quantum field to me? Oh, wow, my lower back is hurting really bad. Okay, I'm sorry I had not seen this this uh, messages before. The quantum field is... Uh, is the energy but it's, it works super fast so it works on the on the cellular level level cellular level say that three times in a row um, so that is what the quantum field is it works really quickly um, to move energies and to bring blocks out of the way and make you go to the next spot so sorry I had not seen that so write down on the chat which words came up for you once change and expansion okay great so now what you want, sometimes you get words that are uh, negative, right? So, uh, for example, sometimes you may get like hard or difficult or stressful, right? You don't want that. If you have words that are negative or less than optimal, that means that your body, your soul, yourself is not aligned with your business. So you want your soul to be aligned with what you want. You want it to be the same. You want it to be positive. You want it to be abundant. You want it to be expansive, right? So. Uh, the words that you have there, Peyton, are pretty much uh, all positive. Once and change. Now, I want you to feel into that change word, right? Feel into that change word. Does that change bring you um, excitement? Does it bring you fear? A lot of times, excitement and fear feel about the same. So it's kind of like difficult to kind of see how it's bringing it. But if it has any type of fear or um, a low energy frequency, then what happens is that you're not going to manifest what you really want in your business because that little bit of fear or hold back is going to counteract what you are putting out into your business. Does that make sense? All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab an eraser, and this is a beautiful violet light eraser. So grab the eraser and erase the entire board, everything. So you erase the name of your business on the left, you erase the line down the center, and you erase the words that came up for you, right? Now we're going to do it one more time. So grab either the chalk or your uh, marker. So grab it and on the left side, actually you're going to make that line again, that vertical line. And on the left side, write the name of your business again. Beautiful. And then in the center on that vertical line, make the equal sign. And then on the right hand side, write two words, the first two words that pop into your hand, into your head that your business is talking to you, like your business is saying, I am this, and these are the two words that it's saying. All right, so I got excitement and love for me. Please write down on the, on the comments what two words came up for you. Um, 
a little bit of both. Okay, so yeah, it, and, and that's, that's completely normal. So now let's see what words came up and see if it's a little bit different or if it's uh, the same as before. It usually is different and we start to move through things because what happens is the first time that you do this, it's kind of very superficial. And then the second time you do it, you dig a little bit deeper. And then the third time, we're going to do it one more time. Then really what's hidden inside your subconscious, like the real reason, the real thing that's keeping you stuck, the real reasons that is not allowing you to expand on your business as you want, when you want it, that pops out and then you clear it. So this is why uh, we're doing this a couple of times. And while we are hanging out here in the quantum field, whew, just start is what I got. Okay. Very good. So just start. And Peyton, so you have just start. So what that's telling me is that you really have been wanting to do something in your business and you haven't started, obviously. And so there's a fear. There is something that's holding you back to go ahead and do that. You know you have everything set. You have everything. All of the masculine part has been set. You know what to do, what your business is, what you want to do, how you want to change people's lives. And now the question is, what's holding you back so we're going to dig into that right you get the most out of this when you participate so let me know on here how that is okay for you i'm only seeing Peyton right now so if you're here um, um i can tune into your energy if you post what you are receiving as well okay so here's the third time this time you're going to grab that beautiful violet light eraser and you're only going to erase the right side of the board okay so only erase the words that came up Good, and now you're gonna look at your, at the left side where the name of your business is. And you're going to send your business love. And how do you do this? You breathe in through your heart and you exhale through your heart, sending love to your business, sending love so you can connect your heart to your business so your energies are both connected now with this kind of like umbilical cord because your business is your baby and it's coming through but the umbilical cord is coming actually from your heart so it's heart to heart and now in your heart ask your business what it needs and when you have the answer or when you think you have the answer grab that chalk or that marker and write it on the right side of that board Okay, so for me, for my business, I got love and patience and I'm sharing exactly because I'm doing this with you as you're doing it so that you can see how it may or may not look. And yours says, I think I haven't been able to start my business yet because I'm stuck in a spiritual closet. That patent, that is so life. <laughs> life, yes. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so Peyton. The spiritual closet thing is a big thing for a lot of healers, a lot of spiritual people. I had to go through my huge awakening. I was hiding. I did not want to uh, share this with my family, the least with my husband, because um, I had the witch uh, wound, which is wounds that we carry on from our ancestors when they were burnt at the stake because they were witches, right? And they were, or they were, uh, they were healers, but they were uh, labeled as witches and, you know, put fear into the world and people ended up um, getting rid of them in, in this way. And we as humans bring these wounds in our DNA. So I'll tell you a story. Uh, you probably have heard this before. Um, so they put a rat in a maze and when the rat was going through, it um, it had like some food. Let's say I think it was a raspberry, or you know, a raspberry. But when the rat went to grab that raspberry, it would get an electric shock. And so the rat learned not to go there, and it would be like completely scared because huge electric shock. And then they took the rat out after it was poor traumatized uh, with this experiment. And then the rat had babies. And then they put the rat's babies in that maze without ever uh, shocking the babies and then the rat went around and once it got to that part with the raspberry the rat would freeze and it was like terrified like it just didn't want to go there because it knew instinctively that that was something going to bad happen something bad was going to happen uh, if it touched that raspberry and that was taught by the mother rat 
but it wasn't taught like, you know, don't go there because you're going to get hurt. Like we tell our kids, don't touch the stove. It was something that the rat just knew inside because it was information that was transferred through the DNA. And that, um, that carries on for generations to generations to generations. And I don't remember the exact number. I believe it's 16 different generations that uh, the offspring continues to carry on that baggage, that DNA um, setup that we put in, like the mother put it in the DNA. Like I, I think my, my kids need to know this because this is important. So it carries on generations after generations. And that's why a lot of times we have no idea what's happening or why we cannot move or what is this ancestral healing all about. Um, that's what it's all about. It's about our ancestors going through some trauma and putting it into their DNA so that their offspring would know and be safe from this trauma. And it carries on for, uh, I believe, 16. It might be 12. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot of generations. <laughs> so, I mean, if you, if you think about it, that each generation is about 30 years right so every hundred years there's three generations at least right and back then people had kids even younger than them so um it, it you go back many many years with that so that's what the generational um trauma is that we carry in our bodies uh, let's see what it says here satan wants change expansion yes so you got change again Peyton. that's really good um that's amazing yes life okay and the re the the fact that your business said life right it almost feels as if like you're living day to day your regular safe life um but you're not feeling as if you're actually really living to your full potential and your full potential comes from you coming out of the closet and that's difficult it's very difficult for anybody who's coming through i mean you, if you think about um what our generations have come through and and, uh, and even now when anything that's different in your family to to just speak out or to say i am this i am different i feel like that um, is completely you know terrifying because um how are you how are they going to think about you right so uh, this is where we need support in, in receiving someone to actually show you the way of doing it so that you can really be sure about yourself and how you can carry on and be completely immersed in your own knowing and then that's the only way that we can get through. Because if you have any doubt whatsoever about yourself, then you cannot convince anybody else. And we're not trying to convince, but you cannot show up as the things that you want to show up. You have to be grounded in exactly what it is that you want. Hit the nail right on the head. Okay, yes. <laughs> I'm glad that this is working out for you. All right. So now that you have that, you have that your soul is telling you, your business is telling you, this is what it is, right? This is the alignment that we want you to work on. Now it is up to you to take action. It is up to you. Now you're feeling aligned. You're feeling like, yes, that will give me life. That will make me feel um, rejoiced inside. It, it will make me feel like um, I'm really aligned and doing something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And so now that you have your answers, it is up to you to take action and do something about that. Okay? Um, so with that, we're going to pull back the energy and say thank you to our guys, thank you to God, thank you to the angels, anyone that you're working with specifically. I'm an angels girl, so I'm always having the angels here with me. And I'm going to um, invite you, if you haven't been in my, uh, if you're not in my group already, I know Peyton, you are in it, um, to join my my private Facebook group, which is called Healing Through You. I do live card pulls there, which means I have my Oracle cards and I pull cards for you so that you can um, have um, answers to the questions that you may have. Um, and I'm doing them again on Friday, this Friday night. It's only in my private Facebook group. And on Thursday, I'm having a workshop through Zoom in that, in that group as well, which is about how to attract the love of your life. And if you already have the love of your life, how to make your life more spicy in your relationship. So this is a must. It is uh, the right time for you to start manifesting and putting this into the um, universe as to like what you want in terms of your own relationships. And why is this important? Because whatever we have in our own personal life, however we 
deal with what's going around our family, our friends, our partner, right? It, transmer, it transfers onto our business. If you're feeling scarcity in the love department, then your business is going to have scarcity on some level, right? What level? Perhaps the level of loving your clients. And loving your clients is so important because that's when you make that connection, right? You love your clients, you connect with them, and then you're really uh, able to see them and help them and give them exactly what they want. So if you're having scarcity or if you're having feelings of um, fear or, or anything that is like low frequency in the love house department, then you want to fix that. You want to uh, bring all of the energies back to that area so that you can be a whole person in all of your life, your business and your personal life. So I encourage you to join that. Also, the, uh, next Thursday, so a week from tomorrow, I'm having an intergalactic light language healing. It is uh, going to be super powerful. It's going to be a transmission with this um, um, energy, which is light um, light years away is what they're saying and um, it's going to clear ancestral trauma I usually do this on my one-on-one -on -one, um, um, with my one-on-one -on -one clients um, and my one-on-one -on -one um, sessions are 333 this is only 55 it is a group session and we're going to do um, clearings of ancestral trauma which is exactly what I was talking about now things that we may not even know we have or carry but are are showing up in our lives and how we show up and how we do our things and um, and we can clear a lot of that when you clear ancestral trauma you are not just clearing your trauma you're clearing everyone behind you and everyone going forward as well so that means your offspring and not just in your family so like I have brothers and sisters is if I clear my ancestral trauma from my mother's side which is the same mother as my, my brother and my sister I'm also clearing their trauma you see how expensive this is? It's really super powerful. Um, and then their kids, right? Because it's the same line, it's the tree line. So um, really encourage you to do it. Um, it's going to align you with the energy so that you can communicate and receive from them as well, clearly. Um, and it's also going, uh, so it's going to be a clearing, a healing, um, and uh, an activation for you. Um, I'll, I'll put the link on the comments for you if you want to do that. I, it's a limited space available, um, and I really, really, uh, I can feel the energy is going to be so incredibly powerful. If you cannot make it for any reason, like if you are at work at that time, you get the recording of the whole session, and then you get all of the healings and all of um, the activations through the Zoom uh, um, recording that I'm going to do so you get everything either way whether you're there in person or not plus you get to send me an email if you need to or want to or feel like it uh, asking any questions about um, anything that you're feeling that needs more um, explanation for you or anything like that as well so uh, let's see I think I haven't been able to start my business just because I'm stuck in spiritual clothes. Okay, yeah. My guys have been telling me to do some ancestral healing. Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yes, so if you're not sure how to do this, uh, this is a really good way of doing it. Like I said, it's only 55. It's going to be a group healing. The energy of everyone who's going to be there is going to be super, super expensive and strong. And it's going to be a lot of clearing. It's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half max. Um, the, the last half hour is for questions or clarity or anything that anyone who is present there needs to um needs to and or wants to share so that is um the intergalactic light language healing i really hope to see you there like i said it's a limited space limited engagement so i can actually answer questions uh during the live unless you're not there in person and then i send it to you through the email um but it's going to be really really powerful i encourage you to join um i believe i put the link up here in the in in the what do you call it explanation of what this live is all about but if not, I'll put it also in the, in the comments. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for um, coming to my live. I love you so much. I send you so much love, and I hope that this workshop was uh, helpful to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.